Photon, photo off, ha ha. We're going to look at the evidence for the wave or particle behavior. So first of all, I think it's important to think about this as just like, what is light? It's such a simple question, and yet it's not so simple to answer. So first of all, I'd like to just point out that we use models to help in our understanding. That doesn't mean that our model is always right. Sometimes they just get us close-ish, or they allow us to understand things a little bit better, even though we might be limiting something. So the question is, is light a particle? Is it a wave? So let's look at light as a particle. So that means it's you know, some sort of object like this, and it's just flying around, or just like that, so like a particle. And let's see if that helps us, right? This is like a model to help us in our understanding. So particles can reflect and bounce off surfaces, so can light. Particles can transfer momentum, and so does light. And particles can refract, which is like, you know, when they bend, that means that they're speeding up or slowing down. So, so far, looks like particles. And in fact, uh, we can do the photoelectric effect, right? Which talked about that before, which is that's a really good evidence for light being a particle. Remember what that was? That's when we had uh, a surface, let's say like some sort of metal, and uh, we have light coming in. Maybe I'll draw it uh, like this right here. Actually, I'll just, I'll just draw a photon coming in like this right here. Uh, so I'll say that's light. And we'll say the light, it uh, kicks off an electron, and the electron goes flying like this. That's like photoelectric effect, where this right here is a metal, like zinc or whatever. All right, well, only particles, uh, they're, they're the only ones who can have a sufficient localization of energy to kick off an electron from the metal. It's not explained by waves. Like a wave can't do this. So that means, hey, great, we got a conclusion. Light is a particle. It cannot be a wave. So we've solved it. Hooray. But what if we do consider light as a wave? You know, light sort of something, you know, waving like this or here, some sort of wavy thing. Well, let's look at this. What can waves do? They can also reflect. They can bounce off surfaces. They can refract. They can speed up or slow down. But what's important is this. Waves can also diffract. And so does light, by the way. So that means that you can take light, pass it through some small opening, and light will end up making these weird patterns. Like, you know, it's going to be bright in the middle, maybe, and then it's dark, and then another spot like this here. This idea of diffraction right here, diffraction is evidence that light is a wave. And, and that, that's because to diffract, light has to interfere with itself. So in other words, we're talking about constructive or air destructive interference. And it turns out diffraction cannot be explained by particles. So that means light must be a wave, cannot be a particle. Are you noticing a problem here? We just said before that because of photoelectric effect, light has to be a particle, not a wave. Uh huh. And then we just said that, hey, because of diffraction, light has to be a wave, cannot be a particle. Uh huh. So which is it? Is light a particle or is it a wave? Look very carefully at this right here. What did you first read when you saw this? Did you read the word wave? You can kind of see it as W. A V E, or did you read it as particle? P A R T I C L E. Ooh. So basically, the question is is light a wave or is it a particle? The answer is yes. <laughs> it's a particle like wave. In fact, we've invented something. We actually call it a photon. So this is this idea that you know you can have some sort of, I'm just trying to draw something like this right here. So this right here is what we call a photon. And the way I've drawn it is kind of cheap because if you zoom in, it's a wave. But if you zoom the way out, it's kind of like a particle. And that's why I put this here. I like particles where it's at waves. Only answer if you can do so concisely in like five minutes or less in a way that's dumbed down. Otherwise, feel free to pass. It's like, are like particles or waves? Yes. So what's really going on here is just this. Again, we got stuck with our models. Our models were that light has to be a particle or it has to be a wave. Why can't it just be its own thing? And sometimes a particle helps to explain it. Sometimes a wave helps to explain it. But light is light. It does its own thing. So we have to just be aware of our models and our limitations to those.